Cheryl Pate is a portfolio manager at Angel Oak Capital Advisors. Welcome. Uh, you know, the Dow kind of barely holding on to some gains, but leading the Dow lower, Apple. How often do we say that? And Verizon, the best performing within that component. What's going on here? Yeah, I think what we really saw out of the Fed yesterday, you know, three key takeaways. One, you have an increasingly data-dependent uh, Fed that's, that's quickly going to adapt and, and, and change based on the data that's coming out. Um, secondly, the playbook is quite different this time, and they've been very clear um, that the economy is very strong going into this rate hike um, that we're expecting to, to start uh, lifting off in 2022. And then thirdly, max employment um, is not necessary um, to see liftoff. So I think you're seeing a real divergence between longer duration equities, tech specifically, and significant outperformance uh, by banks and, and other diversified financials, which are positively levered to higher rates. Yeah, you like banks uh, and diversified financials in this environment, but do you like the ones that have underperformed recently or the ones that have been best performing? Does it matter within that cohort where you go? I, I think what matters is growth. And that's what we're really focused on. Um, we're seeing a lot of green shoots of inflecting growth from the H8 data. The credit card data from the Master Trust yesterday was incredibly positive. Um, loans are showing up near 7% year over year um, for the industry at wide. And um, you're starting to see pick up in commercial lending as well, which we actually think is going to really accelerate in 2022 as some of these supply chain shortages work their way out. So growth is really the name of the day. We like the credit card stocks um, specifically. They are a little beaten down on potential credit cycle fears, but I think growth far outweighs that. And then from you know a, a pure bank perspective, we really like the regional banks. They're asset sensitive. They're very positively levered to higher um, Fed fund rates. But also within that sector, some really strong growth trajectories from um, some names like Silicon Valley. Now, I know that a few months ago, we heard so much the world has forever changed. Uh, a lot of software names were being talked up. Uh, yes, tech it, it has weakened a bit. Some names in tech have weakened a lot. If the world has changed, are there some bargains to be found, perhaps in names that have gotten beaten down the most over the past few weeks and months? I think there are some bargains. I think there has been perhaps a bit of an overshoot on some of these growth um, driven not only tech names, but even if we look towards payment processing, Visa and MasterCard, for example, um, are really trading at recessionary type, type levels um, when the, the outlook going forward is to get back to um, pretty uh, impressive consumer spending numbers, a pickup in travel, uh, a pickup in small business. Um, so I think that's all positive for some of these stocks that have really taken the brunt um, of some of the downside in the recent weeks. And what does that do for a retail investor, at least some segment of retail investors that have gotten so used to dealing in ETFs uh, specifically? Uh, I don't know if there's an ETF. I mean, I guess the, the cloud uh, ETF is, is one of them, one of the popular cloud ETFs. That, that captures some of that bargain sentiment, or are we back to uh, a stock picker's market, as we like to say? I do think it's a stock picker's market. I think we are going to see increasing volatility in the market overall as we sort of transition uh, back towards um, a higher rate environment. I think there will be, you know, some potential disruptions going forward from uh, potentially new variants coming out and potentially slowing down um, some parts of the market. So I do think um, stock picking uh, comes back in vogue here. All right. Uh, makes sense from a portfolio manager. Uh, Cheryl, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.